Alright, hello YouTube, this is Mike, Phone Junkie here. Now I'm bringing you a quick video here. I've been getting a lot of requests about this, and I've actually looked into this and uh, reviewed it myself. Well, not really reviewed, and researched it myself. And I'm not finding too much information about the iPhone 6 here on Cricket's new uh, service with the, now the AT&T bought them. So a lot of people are saying at and or Cricket has a lot better service now. Uh, the data is faster. And a lot of you already know, Cricket is actually making it a pretty good benefit to switch over. They're offering a 10 gigabyte data plan uh, of high speed LTE for $60 a month. And now if you do that on auto pay, it's only $55 a month. And each phone line you add after that, it goes down $5. So if you have a uh, 60. If you get the $60 plan, you put on auto pay, you have $55. You add your uh, wife's plan on, now you're down to only $50. Okay, so it's actually some good savings here. Now, anyway, enough with the plans. Again, like I said, I got a lot of requests asking for the for someone to put a video up of the iPhone 6 working with the Cricket on the Cricket uh, network. Now, if you look on Howard Forms. Uh, there's a lot of people saying it does not work. Well, I'm here to say that the Chiefs just won. All right. Oh, that's not what I'm here to say. Sorry about that. But anyhow, I'm here to say that you can get Cricket on your iPhone 6. Now, let me tell you guys one thing. Putting Cricket on these newer phones, things like this, do not go by what the store tells you. Do not. All right, the stores, they don't know what they're talking about. They don't know anything. The girl, even when I talked to her on the phone, she told me there's no way that unless I had my iPhone unlocked from AT&T that it would work on Cricket. And I told her, I said, well, you are aware that AT&T just bought out Cricket, correct? She said, yes, but that's, that has nothing to do with them. This is what she told me, that they are just using their towers. I said, so a company just bought you, but it has nothing to do with you. She said, correct. So anyway, so I I went down there, and I made sure, and this store was about 20 minutes away, where the other store was only about 10. I went to this store in particular. I brought her this phone. She put a SIM card in, and what do you know? It worked. Now, she tried to say that it was a Go phone that I had, which it wasn't. This is one that I bought on contract when the iPhone 5 first came out. All right. Now this actually device here, um, I u I bought a Cricket plan just to test with the iPhone 5, just to see how eight or the new Cricket's doing, as well as put in the Verizon phone. But anyhow, we'll get back. We'll get to a review later on it. But anyway, I'm just here to show you that it actually does work. So here on the left, you have an iPhone 5. It's activated on Cricket. Let's make sure you can actually see that. So you have Cricket here. All right, it's out. LTE. Alright, so the iPhone 6 here you have on Verizon. Alright. So we're going to take the SIM cards out here. Now, I know about six months ago to a year ago that LTE did not work on the iPhone 5 for Cricket, but I can tell you now that it does. When Apple first released their first update, when they were updating more carriers LTE for the iPhone 5, they did not include Cricket. Well, now they did, and that's partly due to AT&T taking it over. Let's get this SIM in there. All right, so a Cricket SIM here. All right, now if you, again, if you go to a Cricket store and tell them you want to activate an iPhone 6 on their network, they're probably going to tell you you cannot unless it's someone actually knows what they're doing. All right, now this is a Verizon iPhone. Now you guys do know that when Verizon uh, bought that Spectrum deal, the government actually made them... Uh, guarantee to unlock all their phones from now on something of that nature 
So anyway, all Verizon phones are actually unlocked. So if you buy an iPhone uh, 6 on uh, Verizon, you can use it on AT&T, T-Mobile, uh, Cricket, Straight Talk, wherever you like that uses a GSM network. All right, so you can see there, it says Cricket. All right, so now let's go ahead and check the speed test. All right. <clears throat> Now here in my house, I actually do not get that good of a speed test. Uh, we actually have like a, <clears throat> a little bit out in the wooded area, but not too bad. I still get LTE, it says, but I never get more than uh, between anywhere between 3 and 8 uh, here at home. So here we go. 164 ping. All right, now I got 3 megabits down. Now I could tell you I was in the Kansas City area earlier today when I first tested this and I could for sure tell you I got about nine megabits down that was on the Cricket network and that was with four LTE bars and it was about three up now this message it sends you from Cricket just saying if your phone data settings have uh, haven't automatically updated Cricket you can visit CricketWireless.com and learn how to set it up but as you can see it's already been set up all right, let's pull up the web browser here. So let's just go to Google. All right, so you see it's pulling up. Now let's go to Apple's website here. Now it's pulling up. Now a lot of people have a lot of questions saying, well, after you reach the 10 gigabyte uh, data, what happens? And I know that's a question I had as well. So we're going to go in here to cellular, turn LTE off. All right, so now all we have is 4G right now. Let's go ahead and test the speed test on our 4G network. Wow, it looks like we're still getting the same speeds as we got the LTE. Now, again, this is inside of my house where I can definitely tell you, even with Verizon, I don't get that too good of LTE. But now, once I leave the house, I really get uh, pretty good LTE speeds. There you have it. Even after you get past the uh, high-speed internet and they turn you down, you'll still get actually good, uh, you'll still get good download speeds. So this is something I would highly recommend to people that do not want a contract, that like to live a little free. Alright guys, you have it here. Now this was just a quick uh, demonstration that you can get Cricket on the iPhone 6. And like I said, I will be bringing you a, a full review on uh, the Cricket network on the iPhone 5 and also on the iPhone 6. So... Please stay tuned. Let me know if you guys have any questions on uh, how to get Cricket on your iPhone 6. Anything in general about uh, Cricket. Uh, We're going to be bringing more Cricket videos now. So make sure you drop it in the comments below. Or you can email me uh, directly at MikePhoneJunkie at gmail.com. Or leave a comment below. Thank you. Make sure you subscribe.